how does it work? Because it is so strange. It has nothing to do with anything we learned in graduate school. So one of the biggest hurdles that I and others find is that it sounds like magic to introduce this. I mean, how can something that looks so simple really do anything, right? And how can any one intervention help such a wide variety of issues? EFT was definitely outside the academic box when I started doing it. There was only one paper uh, that was a randomized controlled trial that, that could be offered as evidence-based medicine. Naturally, people's first reaction is it looks funny. There's a lot of things we now take for granted, though, that probably looked really funny at first. Even more important to me and other professionals is that it's grown and expanded due to an ongoing body of pretty impressive clinical research. When I first saw the results that were possible with EFT or tapping, I needed to see for myself would it hold up under scientific scrutiny. So I began conducting clinical research trials. Research on tapping continues to be conducted at renowned academic and scientific institutions internationally. The evidence-supported published studies help to verify the findings of the early adapters and the millions of people around the world who are applying this safe and effective approach today. Signs of increased healing processes occur when using this tapping stimulation, affecting the electromagnetic centers and pathways throughout our bodies while we focus on conscious and unconscious feelings, sensations, and memories. Now, for a long time, scientists weren't really convinced about this connection between these places of electrical skin conductivity and the meridian acupoints. To date, there are more than 100 studies and review articles published in professional peer-reviewed journals showing tapping to be effective and working quite rapidly and with a wide variety of issues and populations. And when you stimulate certain acupuncture points, it sends signals to the amygdala, the part of the brain that codes threat, the part of the brain that codes many emotions. And what tapping does is it reduces the amount of arousal in the amygdala. So if something from your past is unresolved for some reason, maybe it was too emotionally overwhelming, then to the brain and the limbic system, it's as if the threat is still ongoing. And if that's happening, then the body's stress response is ongoing as well. The intelligence of the body doesn't want to be unhappy. The body is just stuck. The idea that every trauma you have uh, gets perceived by your body uh, and then stored as a basically malware or software program in your acupuncture meridians. And when you do EFT, you're essentially running the program just long enough to hit the delete key and uninstall the program. So the person then is no longer anchored to the past and the same emotion is no longer the same chemical feedback from the environment that keeps the same gene turned on and the other gene turned off. So it's kind of like watching a movie now instead of actually reliving it. So you open the file, the malware is gone, that's emotional freedom. And so you do hear things that sound absolutely miraculous, but it's not the tapping that's miraculous, it's your body. You're gonna see very strong acceptance to physical change, very strong chemical changes, and the person is gonna really be reborn again biologically. So who knows what we'll uncover as the research continues to be published. What we already have is a scientifically valid foundation of understanding for how tapping may work. I knew that there was something about this tapping thing that was making a big difference from every other thing I had ever tried. I'm interested in things that work, and EFT works. I'd been through 14 years of therapy on and off and had been digging in there, digging in there for a long time, and EFT did things that therapy never reached. It's spreading quickly because it's so simple. That's one of the greatest virtues. It's going to change the world. The Science of Tapping Project, three videos to meet any presentation need, plus a dedicated website with the latest research on tapping techniques and an international membership forum. Visit scienceoftapping.com to learn more.